Good morning guys, it's uh, Blij from Bold Stroke Adventures, uh, South Ontario, uh, 2021, and we are in the early May, and uh, early May, what that means? That means that it's very likely you're going to come across one of these. Uh, now just let me explain quickly. I'm actually surprised that uh, this is a main trail, uh, it's a Bruce Trail uh actually and uh, uh i cannot believe that uh they are here uh right beside the trail and everybody passing by and uh, uh they're still here what we're talking about exactly uh pheasant uh, back or dryad saddle uh now i'm gonna respect this mushroom i'm just gonna uh, take a, a little piece uh, to elaborate a little bit uh, and explain uh, what is uh, all about. So in early May, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take just one piece. Uh, there is actually one from behind. They grow in the clusters, and uh, now actually you can find them. At this time of the year, they are young, and if you choose to, it's not one of the choice edible mushrooms. Uh, when I say choice edible mushroom, that actually means uh, one of the mushrooms that are actually very desirable, uh, like uh, Hen of the Woods or uh, Bolit or uh, Chanterelles. Uh, you could eat them, uh, they have a little bit different flavor, uh, not so rich like the other ones, but uh, you could eat them. Uh, you know, 100 different people, 100 different temperaments and tastes. Uh, somebody actually might like them and prefer them more than the others. So let me just explain. I'm going to take one at the back. Okay, so why pheasant back? Well, take a look. It does look like a, a bird a little bit. Uh, they are a poly, polypore mushroom. What that means polypore? That means that there is no gills. Uh, they got uh, tiny uh, pores, very very tiny micro pores. And uh, uh, it smells... Uh, smell earthy almost woody uh, not uh, like the other mushrooms uh, like very mushroomy very flavorful smell these are more uh, woody smell and if you choose to eat them uh, what you want to do is just cut outside bracket just outside rim this is the very tender part this is a white meat very spongy but as you go closer to the center, uh, they, do go, they do get uh, very woody. So uh, if you want to eat, you want to get them young, like now. When uh, they grow bigger, like later on in the season, they're just too woody. Uh, when they're young like this, uh, outside brackets. It's almost the uh, same, same rule like uh, with the chicken of the woods. Uh, if you find them young, you can probably eat the whole thing. If you find them later on in the season, uh, you do want to cut the brackets. Uh, this is actually very easy mushroom uh, to identify. Uh, why? Because it's very unique. Like I said, just the color itself. And uh, what is behind me uh, looks like a uh old uh, dead elm tree most likely so you will find them uh, on uh, uh, mostly on the dead trees uh, i seen actually more behind me there is a bunch uh, more so i'm gonna leave this uh, behind uh, like i said uh, you know uh, it's not one of my favorites so uh, I'm gonna leave them in the nature. I hope uh, you guys uh, uh, like this video. Please subscribe. There is a lot more videos about mushrooms. And, uh, you know, I'll see you at the next adventure. Cheers and uh, take care.